I'm here to talk to you about colon and rectal cancer. They are often grouped together uh, as colorectal cancer. In men and women, they are the third commonest cause of cancer. When we put men and women together, colorectal cancer is the second commonest cause of cancer deaths. Rectal cancer is slightly more common in men, and colon cancer is slightly more common in women, um, but overall the distribution is relatively equal. Let's start by talking about what the colon and the rectum actually are. Together they're known as the large intestine. So imagine this, you're looking at yourself facing yourself. Over here on the right, we have the right or ascending colon. Coming across, we have the transverse colon. Coming down the left, we have the descending and sigmoid colon. And the very end of the large colon is the rectum. The commonest type of cancer is called an adenocarcinoma. There are other malignancies of the colon and rectum, but they're really quite rare. So the ones we're talking about right now are adenocarcinomas. When we first find a cancer, one of the first things we want to do is find out what stage it is. Stage one means it's just gone through the first couple of layers of the lining of the colon. Stage two means it's gone through the muscle layer and is deeper. Stage three means that the lymph nodes or the glands uh, associated with that part of the colon also have tumor cells in it. And fourth stage is where that colon cancer or rectal cancer has already spread elsewhere with the commonest sites being the liver and the lungs. When people first hear they have colorectal cancer, beside the fear that that initially engenders, their next thought is often, am I going to need a bag? Let me show you the difference. First of all, we have the colon, as I already pointed out, and then this changes into the rectum. Whether or not someone needs a bag depends on whether the tumor is in the colon or the rectum. First of all, if it's in the colon, we hardly ever need a bag. If the tumor is in the rectum, it really depends how close the lower end of that tumor is to the sphincter muscle or the muscle that helps to give you control. And where that is, is right here at the lower part of the rectum. In the upper part of the rectum, it's usually not an issue in terms of reestablishing bowel continuity or joining the colon or large intestine back together again. It's really only in the low rectal cancers or the cancers very close to the sphincter that special techniques are required in order to hook the colon back together again and avoid a permanent bag. 